again, this is Professor Jim Cappy. Today in the OpenStax Free Astronomy textbook, we're going to do Chapter 27. It is a big one on active galaxies, quasars, and supermassive black holes. The Hubble Space Telescope has taken a couple of very, very deep images into space. The latest one was called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. And what you see in this area of space, which is very tiny, is nothing but galaxies. These are all galaxies in a very tiny point in space. Here is a quasar. And it's known as a quasar because in an image like this, it looks like a quasi-stellar object. That means quasar, quasi-stellar. Here is another quasar in the Hubble Space Telescope. And quasars in other galaxies. In one quasar, maybe the most famous, M87 is its name, uh, we can see jets of material being spun out from that quasar. We see it in radio, visible, x-ray, all of those. We do see evidence for a black hole at the center of M87. Here's another galaxy with a black hole with a disk of dust and gas around it. Here is a jet in an active galaxy. Active just meaning, think of an active volcano. It's, it's erupting. It's doing something. So here we see this jet from this donut-shaped torus around this object, and we see these jets coming out. And we are starting to get into some really uh, difficult stuff to grasp, so I'm going to be skipping over some of this stuff, and it will be on the quiz. Black holes. We've talked before that nothing can escape the gravity of a black hole. So sometimes stars are in binary pairs with black holes and their light and mass gets sucked into that black hole. We can even see two galaxies colliding and having two black holes in the middle of that. Well, that's going to do it for chapter 27, Active Galaxies. Supermassive black holes. Thanks for joining me. Well, did you enjoy that episode of 10 Minute Astronomy? If so, check out all the other videos in that playlist for 10 Minute Astronomy and other videos on my channel, and then hit the subscribe button right there. Thanks.